Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this Samsung Gear Fit with me which is kind of a smartwatch cam tracker and the thing is that officially it works only with Samsung Galaxy devices for example the Galaxy S5, all variants of S4, S3 and the Note series but I was able to make it work with the non-Samsung Android phones and for example right now it's not connected to this Galaxy S5 but it's connected to this LG L90 and as you can see, uh, let me just show you where is this gear fit. It is connected to this one. And uh, if I send a, uh, any message, etc., it will pop up on this gear fit. So you can make it work with non Samsung uh, based devices, but not 100% of the functionality is working. I would say 95% of the functionality is working. Also, as this is a non Samsung device, uh, simply the SL tab uh, does not work, but all the notifications do pop up on the gear fit uh, and uh, actually you need bluetooth for uh, low energy support and also the latest version of kitkat on your android device to make it work and what i'll do is now we'll install it on this htc one m8 and i'll show you the entire procedure uh, one thing to note is that if you're getting a new uh, gear fit you will need a samsung device to do the initial setup and to update the firmware and only after doing that you can make it work on other android devices and what you need to do essentially is sideload the apk of this uh, gear manager to the other device and to do the same uh, for example the gear fit manager use any file manager like astro or es file manager and extract that apk for example we, i have the es file manager and uh, here if i go back if you hit this you have the app manager from here you can select that uh, file for example our file is this gear fit manager just hold on for it for a second and check mark it and now you can share it to your dropbox account or google drive etc for example i have shared it to my google drive and uh, when you hit this it will upload it to your google drive account this is the only file that is needed to make uh, it work on other devices for example uh, we have done that and now uh, another thing if your phone is connected to this uh, device disconnected uh, i will do that for example it's just i'll just disconnect it from this one it's connected i'll just go back it's and i'll disconnect my uh gear fit and as you can see it sh shows that it is disconnected and i'll also switch off any bluetooth etc i have on my other device I'll switch it off and now this is our new device on which we'll install this gear fit and do note that by doing this procedure any data that you have on your gear fit will get erased so make a backup if you are interested in that data now first thing that we need to do is go to your android settings and go to the security tab and here enable the unknown sources option press ok and after installation you can just remove this and let's go to our google drive where we have that file and the file is it's 18 megabyte file uh, this is the file and i'll open it and uh, this works over bluetooth so i'll also enable bluetooth as of now and i'll open this it's downloading the file it'll take about a couple of seconds and uh, we will install this And the app is installed now i'll switch it on and here also it won't find your device here you need to go here in the settings and underneath bluetooth hit this make visible option to other gear devices and as you can see we got a bluetooth pairing request and we need to pair it And we'll try to connect it might take about uh, 30 40 seconds uh, so you need to be uh, patient again if it does not happen make sure in the bluetooth settings uh, it is uh, this other is also checked mark and i also make sure the device that you're using does support bluetooth 4 le that is uh, low power so as you can see it can take some time and uh, it says all data will be erased just check mark that here and pair hit the pair button and now it will actually restart your gear fit and now 
as you can see it is now connecting you have to do this again uh, because uh, here you check mark this and this can also take uh, up to about 30 or 40 seconds and now again you have to hit the scan again now it has found our device again and now if you hit it now it should connect and here it confirms that so just hit this check check mark over here and hit this pair button and now it should connect now you just agree to these terms and conditions and just hit finish and now it is connected as you can see it is connected and i just got a missed call from it as you can see you can access the notifications and here you need to do all your initial settings again uh, also regarding notifications let me show you that first uh, you go to this notifications here and uh, we can hit this preview message and here by default only these types of notifications are enabled but you can enable almost every notification just hit this general notification tab once and here you need to turn this on just check the gear fit manager to enable notification access once that is done again double uh, just tap here and hit now you'll be able to access all the apps that are available on your device and from here you can enable or disable the notifications for whatever apps you want to be seen the notifications to be seen on the uh, gear fit for example let's enable some of them for example let's enable whatsapp uh, let's enable twitter i also have uh, plume uh, you can uh, enable whatever text message anything whatever app gives you notifications can be enabled now we have en enabled some of the notifications so let let's just test that i'll just switch off this phone and i'll send a whatsapp and let's see if it works fine give me a second and i'm going to send a whatsapp as you can see i can now read that notification directly on my uh, gear fit now you have to redo all your settings because everything is wiped and here as you can see uh, if we just go here to the profile you have to also set up your profile the entire profile again like this everything and the profile is set up also if uh, we go to display uh, i'll enable this rotate screen in the vertical mode this is a lot easier so this way you can make uh, it work with the modern uh, what do you say android phones just make sure that it has bluetooth 4 and also runs the latest version of android some of the things might not work for example uh, the weather uh, and the location services something that rely on that do not work but apart from that 95 percent of the things work also obviously as this is not a samsung device we don't have s health so the s health related stuff will simply not work but you can still run the pedometer the heart rate monitor and all those apps directly from the gear fit also do note that if there is any new firmware update you will probably require again a samsung galaxy device to update it so this is how you uh, make this gear fit work with the uh, non-samsung android smartphones i'll also be doing a full in-depth review for this uh, uh, gear fit shortly so if you aren't subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe to the same thank you for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video